Welcome to Time Alone with God, a devotional podcast brought to you by Eden Stream Ministries. I'm Misati, and before we begin, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you so much for taking care of us up to this point. And now as we study your word, I pray that you may please help us to understand it, that we may be able to follow it. For it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today's devotion is entitled, Blessed is the Man. And we're going to be reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 112, verses 1 to 6. And it says, Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness, he is gracious, and full of compassion, and righteous. A good man showeth favor, and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved. Forever the righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. These are wonderful promises for those who will fear the Lord and keep his commandments. And I'd like us just to break them down into a few pieces. And so we can see here there are three things. Their conditions, their blessings, and their character qualities. And so the conditions are found in verse 1, and we're seeing the conditions is you have to fear God and delight in his commandments. You have to fear God and to love serving him. And then, if you comply with those conditions, then you will be blessed with certain things. In verses 2 and 3, your children will be mighty upon the earth, and your children will be blessed as well as you, and your wealth and riches shall be in your house and your righteousness shall endure forever. And so these are very, very, very nice blessings that people have really looked for on this earth. That's why people go and look for a job so that they can get enough money to support themselves and their family so that their children will be well off. And they don't realize that these things can be easily found through one way, and that is just through fearing God and keeping his commandments. Once you work for God, he will sponsor you. Just like when one works for the government, the government sponsors a lot of his activities. And so we need to remember that working in God's government is never a loss. You will always be taken care of and sponsored. You will never lack so long as you abide with the laws of the place you're working in. So long as you abide with God's laws and fear him and keep his commandments, then he will always cater for your needs. And the last thing is the character qualities, which we are finding is gracious, compassionate, righteous, and discreet. And these are character qualities that you will be blessed with also when you come to start walking for God. Because all people who work for God must be gracious, the way God is gracious. They must be compassionate, the way God is compassionate. They must, by all means, be righteous, the way God is righteous, and discreet. And so, these are character qualities God will bless you with the more you work with Him. The less you work with Him, the less character qualities you'll get because you won't get any opportunities to obtain them. And so, that's why we're told, blessed is the man that fears the Lord, because you get monetary and mental blessings as well. You get your daily needs supplied, And you'll also get your mental needs supplied. You will be in good standing with God and with man. And I'd like us to look at an example of somebody who was like this. This man was called Moses. And I'd like us to read a short paragraph on his account in Patriarchs and Prophets. Page 481, paragraph 2. And it says, Moses was dead, but his influence did not die with him. It was to live on reproducing itself in the hearts of his people. The memory of that holy and selfish life would long be cherished, with silent, persuasive power molding the lives even of those who had neglected his living words. As the glow of the descending sun lights up the mountain peaks long after the sun itself has sunk behind the hills, so the works of the pure 
the holy and the good shed light upon the world long after the actors themselves have passed away. Their works, their words, their example will forever live. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. Psalm 112 verse 6. And so Moses, even though he had uh, made a few mistakes, but because he feared the Lord and delighted to keep his commandments, that influence has come with him for thousands of years now. Right now in 2024, we're still looking at the life of Moses, who was there thousands of years even before Jesus was born. And so my prayer for you and for myself as well today is that we may fear the Lord and keep his commandments because we will be blessed and we will be a blessing to others by the character qualities we will obtain from fearing the Lord and keeping his commandments. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you so much for taking care of us throughout this day. And uh, Lord, we thank you for your word that has taught us that if we fear you and keep your commandments, if we work for you, you will supply all our needs. You will cater for all our wants and needs that will enable us to continue to work even more efficiently for you. I pray that you may please take care of us throughout the remaining part of this day and that you may please forgive us of all our sins and please cleanse us from all unrighteousness. For we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today in Time Alone with God, a devotional podcast brought to you by Eden Stream Ministries. See you next time.